Hey guys, welcome back to Green Water Fish. Today I'm going to show you guys another table centerpiece. And it's pretty cool because it's a planted bus and it's very cheap and there's no maintenance involved. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So the first step would be finding an appropriate container. And I got this glass vase from one of my friends as my gift and it's pretty appropriate for this setting. And just keep in mind that you want something that's not too big to sit on your table, but also something that's not too small that you can't put anything in there. Now you have a container ready to go. The second step is to find an appropriate plan for the setting. Now we're talking about something that's um, no maintenance or low maintenance. So you want to find some sort of plants that's very easy to take care of, that does not require any attention. So for me, I chose java moss because java moss is very strong, it's very very hard to kill them. Somebody even told me that they left java moss outside in a tank and the tank dried up and after a couple of months this guy remembered to check his tank and then fill the water back up in the tank and the java moss came back to life. What the hell, right? So if you can kill java moss, I would be really impressed by your skills. Another reason why I chose java moss to work with is because they are very easy to escape with. They do not require any substrates like any other plants, um, so you can literally just dump all of them in a tank. Or you can find some sort of stones or driftwood to tie them to. So um, there's really no way that you can go wrong with java moss, and regardless, it'll look really good. For me, I want some sort of structure to this vase, so I literally just picked up some twigs in the backyard and I didn't even care, I just rinsed them and I tied a java moss to the twigs and I dropped it in the vase. And I think they look pretty neat. Now lighting wise, java moss is not needy at all, it can adapt to any kind of light. So it's perfect for beginners or for people who are too busy for a plant tank or plant a vase. And for java moss, there's no need to have any artificial lighting for them. I just left the vase on a table where it can get a couple hours of sunlight during the day. And they seem to do pretty well with that. Now, of course, under low light condition, java moss will be growing kind of uh, sporadically. They will be growing slower and the kind of a leaf structure will be kind of disorganized. But it doesn't really matter because for this kind of setting, you just want them to be bushy and jungly, so I don't really care. But if you have the luxury of having an additional lighting for the little vase, you will realize that they will obviously grow a little faster and the leaf will be more structured and you will see some sort of pattern to the moss. And of course, this is java moss, but if you're looking at Christmas moss or Taiwan moss, all those moss have different structures, but their needs are different. But I think overall java moss is the hardiest one among all mosses that you can find on the market. Now temperature wise, they can survive in a wide range of temperature. You really don't need to worry about heater unless your room is going to be like 30 degrees in the winter. Otherwise, java moss will do fine in any human temperature range. Now, maintenance. Yes, I know I said this is no maintenance, but come on, you can spare like one minute per one or two weeks for this. All it involves is pouring some water out, like, I don't even care, like a third of a vase or half a vase or the full vase. I don't care, and I don't think Java Moss cares. Just dump some water out and fill in some tap water. I don't even worry about conditioner because there's no fish or shrimp in there and java moss does not care and as long as you're not pouring in freezing cold water or boiling water java moss will be fine so that's the only maintenance that you will need is to change water every couple of weeks or top off the water whatever you like it's literally just like not even a minute i think i cover every single aspect about this vase and i think this is pretty good for beginners or for people who want an eye catching table centerpiece that does not require a whole lot of work so i hope this video is helpful and please feel free to comment below and we make new videos every week so check it out and i'll see you next week bye